Okay, again. So let's say we have a comment here. This is Tiamat. And it, it's actually um, in free fall towards Ito Morris. Yun yung, ano, yun yung idea. So the low component of velocity in the vertical direction here just means that it's in free fall with initial velocity equal zero. Kapag may component ng velocity yan in the vertical direction or in the horizontal direction, we don't want that yet. We will solve an example of that when we go to projectile motion. Projectile motion problem yun. But for now, let's assume this is, this is a free fall problem. So yun. So letter A, kaano yung mag gano katagal bago ma-reach ni Tiamat yung ground? Anong gagamitin natin? So, we know that Y, there is negative 1,350 meters. Why is it negative? Because it's downward. Um, we are assuming that um, in our coordinate system that the one that's downward is negative. So, minus 1,350 meters. So, so, this means that Y, anong gagamitin equation? What we want is time. And we, are, we only have time. position time correctly. Precisely. So, we have, ano pa meron tayo? We will assume that G is... 9.81 meters per second squared downward. So in that case, what is initial velocity? Zero. Assume here that V0 equals zero. So here we have Y equals Y0 plus V0 T minus one half GT squared. This will vanish. This will vanish. I hope Mitsuha doesn't vanish. Pero sige, um, we will see in this problem kung mamamatay siya or hindi. <laughs> Negative one half. So we will see here that T is just equal to 2y over g. And y there is um, may negative sign there. So the y there, negative to, negative to, magka-cancel yan, and we get um, uh, square root ng twice, may 1350 over 9.81. And we will see that comet Yanat will fall at about in um, you know, seconds. So 16 seconds, if I remember correctly. This is about 16.7 seconds. Okay. Letter B. What is the final velocity? What is the final velocity? So we will use what? The velocity time. Yes, we will use the velocity time. So V, um, v, v equals V naught minus um, GT. We now have our time here. So we can use that time to determine the total velocity, the velocity of the part of the of the comet upon reaching the ground. So this will vanish, and we expect that this should be negative. So this is minus nine point eighty one meters per second squared multiplied by sixteen point seven seconds, and therefore v equals one hundred negative one hundred sixty two point seven meters per second. So this is the final velocity of the comet upon reaching the ground. And then pangatlo, the last part of this problem. Paligtas ba si, si Mitsuha? Once that, kung nakita niya, di ba, and sumakay siya ng, ano, ng, ng bike, nag-accelerate siya with some acceleration, 7.5 meters per second squared. Ang tanong, enough ba yung acceleration niya para makaalis sa blast site? So how do you solve that? Anong kailangan mong gamitin? Equation. So, you have, so ito yung blast site. Papunta dito yung, ano, yung comet. And Mitsuha, let's say, nasa center siya, palabas siya ngayon. Okay? Of course, this is really highly unrealistic problem. Kasi sa gilid naman siya dun sa movie na noon. Uh, ano yun, di ba? <laughs> Grabe pag di nyo pa napanood. Yun, awang ka na lang, ha? <laughs> five years na. Yeah, five years na. Tama. So, 2016 to 2021. Anyway, so yun. So, paano magagamitin? You use your position time. So, x equals one half a t squared. But, but what is t there? This is, should be the same time as that when Tiamat, when the comet will fall, falls down. Diba? So, we will assume that you have 16, Mitsu has, has 16.7 seconds in order for her to escape the blast site. So, we have one half times 7.5 meters per second squared times 16.7 seconds, and therefore we get squared, and thus we get something like anong sagot? Ano yan? This is about 1,045 meters. Oh, yung galing. She will barely escape. <laughs> At least in this problem. She will barely escape. One kilometer ang blast site radius. Eh. And she um she traveled about 1,045 meters. But of course, there's some caveats. Kasi hindi naman necessarily na radially outward yung panyang pagdawi. Radially outward from the blast site radius yung kanyang pagtravel. Baka naman pag yeah. Of course, there's some caveats. So, so but assuming that, 
Maybe she will be buried the same. No? Yay. Ayon. Are there any questions for this question, this problem? May tanong ba rito? None, sir. Ah, okay. So, yeah, gawang tawa yung mga ano ngayon. So, so, okay. So, guys, oh, if there are no more questions, um, thank you very much for attending the session. Um, next week, we will start two-dimensional and three-dimensional motion. We'll go back to our vectors because we will reintroduce our definitions we obtained in 1D and we will extend it to 2D and 3D. Okay, so kung wala nang tanong, um, I see you all next sir. week. <laughs> mm, may tanong ba? Sir, pwede po bang magpa-consult sa solution sa FQ or sabay na po bukas? Bukas na lang. <laughs> okay, Thank bukas na lang. Overtime na tayo. So if there are no more questions, other questions will be entertained dun sa mga sudyante ko tomorrow for your um, special synchronous session. Okay? Bye-bye!